Hi there guys, good morning. Episode 25 here of MJB Iron Man. Um, today is actually the 21st of July, 2017. The Iron Man was on the 18th of June, so about a month ago. And I've waited a month to really, you know, digest the information and really see how how I felt about the whole thing. And it was it was one of the most you know amazing experiences of my life. It was definitely one of the most emotional experiences of my life. And um, and I'll tell you how it went very quickly. I'm going to keep it quite short, but I just want to give you the update, guys, um, because this really wraps up the first ever Ironman that I did, the half Ironman in Staffordshire. So it's a 1.9k swim, 90k ride, and then the half marathon. So the swim went pretty well. Everything was okay. I got out, didn't feel too dizzy. You know, pretty much got into the bike pretty well. Now, about 10 k's into the bike, I ended up crashing, so I was coming downhill, and there was a turn at the bottom of the hill, and I hadn't done a lot of hill training, especially going downhill, where your bike really picks up speed, crashed straight into the hedge, right? So, crashing into the hedge wasn't very good, you know, my arms got cut up, I don't know if you can still see the scars of there's kind of slight scars there. My face was a bit cut up. My other arm, you can still see some of the lines on the other arm. Anyway, so my bike crashed. I got out, you know, I got off my bike. The um, the ambulance came and they were like, mate, you've got to finish. You, your race is done. And I was like, I'm not, you know, I'm not leaving. You know, like, I was like, there's no way I'm leaving this race. And he goes, mate, your face, your arm. I was like, mate, that's fine. And then what happened was he went, what about your bike? Because your front tire, my front tire was bent. So no joke, we pulled the bike out of the hedge, we bumped the front tire back into shape, and I rode another 85 kilometers with the front tire still shaking the entire way. And people would ride past going, mate, you know your front tire's like, I know, I know, right? <laughs> um, but it was great, it was great, finished, finished the rides, and then it got tough, because then we had the half marathon. And on the 18th of June, I don't know if you guys remember, it was the hottest day of the year. It, you know, temperatures hit 32 degrees right so we were running in about 32 degrees it was mental right it was mental right but it was great fun it was great fun i ended up completing it in six hours and a half i didn't stop once there was a big hill in the run and i learned three massive lessons doing my ironman and actually doing it and the first one is if you put so much work into something that quitting doesn't become an option you won't quit, no matter how hard something gets. Trust me, there were moments that I wanted to quit going uphill, on the run, when I crashed. But if you put so much work, I put 400, 500 hours of training into this Ironman. There was no way I was gonna quit. So that's number one. Number two, throughout the Ironman, I kept telling myself, Mike, you know, yes, it's hard. Yes, you're in pain right now, but you know, you've trained so hard for this moment. You've trained so hard for this particular thing that you're doing right now. Try to enjoy it, bro. Enjoy it, look around you. You've got beautiful scenery, you've got other people with you. You know, so I really try to focus on the moment and enjoying what I was doing, and that's massively, massively important. And the third thing, the third thing that's really important is, I told so many people I was doing the assignment, I made a promise to myself that I was gonna do it, that I wasn't gonna quit, that I wasn't gonna stop, that I was gonna get a good time, right? And if you make these kind of promises to people, and more importantly to yourself, and you really mean these promises, you will be able to do what you want to do in life. You will be able to hit your goals. You will be able to achieve your dreams. So, you know, really excited about this Ironman. I'm going to be doing the next one next year in Barcelona. We're not going to stop. Today's the London Triathlon, so we're really, really excited about that. But guys, whatever you're doing today, do it with love, do it with passion. Go out there and have an awesome bloody day. Because hey, this day's never going to come again. Thank you so much for watching episode 25 of the MJB Ironman. On to the next one.